Hello. Do you have any heroes? Perhaps you've got a favourite sportsman or sportswoman, an incredible scientist, an astronaut. Maybe you're a fan of superheroes like Superman or Wonder Woman. In the current circumstances, we're all looking at our health carers and our key workers and all the people in that chain as heroes. I have to say, I always struggled having a hero myself. When I was young, perhaps the closest I came to is Glenn Hoddle, a Spurs player of the 80s and 90s. He was, he was an incredible player. Um, in my Christian walk, I really loved the people that loved Christ, but kind of failed and made mistakes. Early in my walk, I kind of figured if, if those people can be, can be uh, forgiven after they failed, well, God for, will forgive me too. Maybe the only one that comes close as a hero though is Paul. He, uh, he spent a large part of his life persecuting Christians, but what God did with his life after his conversion is truly mind blowing. His faith, his energy, his consistency. He's someone we continue to learn from to this day, um, as others will into the future. Maybe we can look at what Paul wrote in Romans to try and understand what a Christian hero might look like. So Romans 15one to 2 says, We who are strong ought to, ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbours for their good to build them up. Does this describe what a hero might really be? Someone who helps those in need, helps the weakness of others with their strength, contributes to the welfare of their neighbours. Thinking about the times we're living in, it's been inspiring for me personally to see how God has moved people to be kind and helpful to those around them. It may be in a phone call, or by contributing to a food bank, or making food for someone in isolation. These are all lovely to see, but, but is this what Paul is really speaking to us about? It's really important to help each other and our community in a practical way. But maybe more importantly, we could be thinking of how we could help spiritually by helping those in need of spiritual assistance and guidance. Those who are strong in faith, helping those who are lacking and need encouragement. Helping our neighbours, as in everyone, uh, with their spiritual welfare. Maybe asking, have you started your walk with Christ? Can I help you with your walk? How can I keep encouraging you on your walk? In the next part of the passage, Paul talks about Jesus. For even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures, and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. So we see that with all the power that anyone could imagine, and more, even God's Son did not please himself. He takes the insults, but also he amazingly takes our sins, with no thought for himself, dying on the cross so we can have a relationship with God. How can we be more Christ, a lot more like Christ? Well, here's a final thought. In these troubled times, there's an amazing encouragement to be taken from each other. All of us being everyday heroes, each one of us looking out for our brothers and sisters in Christ, loving, helping, encouraging, and continuing to spread the good news of Jesus Christ into the community. If we give our lives to God, He'll make heroes of each and every one of us. Let's pray. Dear Father, please help us and strengthen us in these difficult times to keep discipling to each other and into the wider community as you commanded us. Help us to be heroes to each other and our neighbours. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.